Greg, rcsuperhero.com, and I'll show you a couple of neat little features I made to uh, make the plane fun and cool. I've got a neat little bill here that'll make the head have, look like it has some width in flight. What this is, is I copied a bill on my, one of my hats, the same shape exactly, right here, and I made a little 087 wire um, come across, down, and then come down and back. And that makes it stabilize this way and this way. And I found that if I put a, a hole here in the core blast, slide it back in there, and you put a little piece of tape there, then um, it's got this neat little bill like this, it'll it'll fill it in. You know, when your mind's uh, uh, watching this, it'll it'll just fill it in, it'll, it'll look three-dimensional that way, and it won't affect the aerodynamics at all. A couple other things I've got going on is um, you can do custom face shapes. If you do a custom face shape, you can cut this up under here uh, and make it look a little more realistic. Now, there's another thing here going, is where you can, um, if you replace this 6mm Depron foam clip with some Coroplast uh, slats that go down this way with the holes going back, then you can, then you can just take a, a bar, a, car, a carbon fiber bar, and uh, lock it in, okay? And then put a little piece of tape on it so it's not going anywhere. And the same thing if you're going to make the arm removable, like with these chloroplast tubes and bars, then you can remove these, um, there's blind nuts and little, little screws that hold the motor mount on. Remove those, remove this top clip, and this arm will come off. And then flex for transport. Then, uh, also, with, without very much, uh, actually I'll show you one of the more, one of the main features is I upped the, the diameter on the, the head mount up to 3 16 inch. And here's a um, kind of like a prototype uh, X plate here. You know, it gives it stability. Uh, everybody else is going to have a, a, a one color one, where this is a two color one. Now it's just messing around. But nonetheless, it comes up the X plate this way, uh, 3 16 and it comes all the way forward up to the head and then up. So there's actually only two bends one here and one there going up into the head. Now this second second rod, this is an eighth of an inch rod, this is what makes it work, is the same little bend here, just inside of that one, carbon fiber there so it's not going anywhere, bring it forward to here, to the vertical motor mount bar, tie it in there with carbon fiber, then up to here, and watch this, that thing, I cannot get it to move more than about an eighth of an inch. It is just solid, and because it's tied in up higher, it, this head doesn't rock more than a quarter inch at the most. And then um, the cool thing is also I've got a little head skid. So when I bounce it up to here, tied it up there, come down and back, then you've got a, a, a shock absorber right there, and it doesn't look like you've got a, a wheel under somebody's face. You probably won't even see it in this guy. And then the motor, uh, or the battery here. Now I used to make it so you had to have an ESC up here, a speed control up here with the battery and then run three wires back. Well right now because of the extra weight of this wire, you don't need to have the extra weight up here on the head. So now you can mount uh, the speed control back here with the motor which is really nice and then you only need two wires coming back so you just counterbalance the weight difference of this wire from reducing it from three wires to two. So that so it just balanced out. Now you have a, a tougher head, less wiring, um, and you don't have to have an extension up here for your uh, speed control either. So that's nice. Saves you money there. Now the neat feature here is the um, the rod comes from the motor mount down to here. It makes it so that that this 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 motor doesn't come any closer. The motor doesn't uh, is just locked in its position. And under the battery, there's a little uh, coroplast plate with the tubes going this way. Keeps the head from being a little foldy. You know, it weighs almost nothing. And this head is just, that's about all the movement you're ever going to get out of it. Uh, you can do funny, fun little things. You can put a little belt on them. 
you know, little shorts. Uh, I even did um, uh, like an, uh, instead of like a uh, armband like I usually have, a little more foam. And sure enough, you have a, 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 a forearm. And this is the standard. Um, let me pull this hat up here. Get in my way. Now, this is a standard um, RG Superhero backplate. What I did is I just put a ruler on here and I trimmed off the, the shoulder pad and kind of gave it a little wavy line on each side. And then the piece of foam here, I just gave it a little wavy thing here and there's an angle here and here. Same thing there and it makes it look like moving, moving clothing. And then uh, give him a little butt cheek curl there to, for aesthetics. But uh, something else we got going on here is I made I made this axle stick out two inches longer and then I can put that up to the ankle and then watch this when you know if anything moves see how they move together this doesn't get any closer to that and so there's no way it's going to hit it or anything and it's uh, really nice it ties it together gives us this back half the strength it needs uh, you know if you're going to run a high power motor set there's one other thing I'm going to show you this little joint here there's one on each hip that's where the little carbon fiber sticks out and what that's attached to is there's an X brace not only do you have an X brace here but you also have an X brace that goes from that hip up to here two, mil two, two millimeter carbon fiber rod same thing here, it's tied on here back to the other hip and it kind of goes from this level to that level and uh, what that does is, is now just, I'll just wiggle this you know, my, my uh, servo wires are flopping, but watch, that body is I'm going to try it harder, that body is not torquing at all the, that these, these few grams, it only costs a couple of grams of weight add those two uh, carbon fiber rods and it totally stiffened up the back half of the plane. Hopefully you'll be able to handle that uh, the bigger motors that I'm recommending. Uh, and uh, then I'm, we're also trying out this it's called the Cobra. Cobra. It's a 35 millimeter motor and um, we're trying it out. It's really really powerful. Uh, please be cautioned uh, uh, don't use full power if you can unless you're just going straight up because it's just insane the amount of power this motor has. Um, that's it. Um, see if I, let me roll around here see if there's anything else. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. And um, escape it on the wall here, tough toes. I really like this head mount. That's the big feature is the new head mount. Totally tough. The customers are going to like it. And rcsuperhero.com, and uh, thank you for the great business. I just got a million views uh, on my Born Tough Fly uh, YouTube site, and thank you, everyone, and uh, take care.